of last season moved across from the Tinkoff squad and in prime position to deliver a big win for the Trek Segafredo team as Richie Port decides to stretch it then he's the leader of this race and he's going to put it up to the other GC contenders is that a surprise no not really it's the first time he's we've actually seen him do this and uh, after a big day for uh, BMC I think he's just showing uh, force today he's showing power that uh, BMC are here to uh, show everybody that uh, they mean business and uh, Richie Port wants to win this year's uh, Tour de Suisse. Well, he is going to do it from the front if he possibly can. Down to 47 seconds, still a mile of racing remaining. Richie Port on the front, cranking out the watts, over 500 as he jogs along. And in his wake, Nero Quintana is waiting to pounce. Spilak is uh, right there and in perfect position, as indeed is uh, Jakob Fulsang. Quintana's gone. Yeah, and it didn't work out, did it, for uh, Spilak, who's just uh, Quintana too, has dropped off the base. So it's Richie Port stretching them thin. Fulsang can't cover it. Enric Mas in third in line at the moment in the darker blue colours of the Quick Step squad. Richie Port is going for the glory of another type. He's stretching clear. He's within 28 seconds of the lead. Still a kilometre and a half to the top. So it's a great chance, perhaps, that Richie Port could ambush the rest of the break. Now here comes Soren Craig. Soren Craig has timed his effort. Gogol is spent. Soren Craig has taken the mountain's points. He doesn't care about that. He's going for glory. It'll plateau slightly very shortly. 1.3 kilometers remaining and down to 23 seconds. Richie Port's been following the wheels all afternoon. Yeah, one effort has been by uh, Richie Port. He's not too far away from the top of the climb now.